Hello, welcome back. My name's Sharon Bose. I go by Bob. I'm not your typical painter. Today, what I'm going to be working on is the mountainside. The mountainside that's up close in the very front of the picture. I'll be very honest, I've had a very difficult time filming this um, part, um, probably because of uh, the angle of the camera where I had it set up. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, so I was trying to release this video a lot earlier, but a lot of setbacks. But anyway, um, without any more delay, I'm going to explain how one of my main focuses was the different textures I was trying to get. There's some areas of the mountain that is very smooth and some that's very rough. And also, besides that, I was also trying to get a nice good separation between the rocks. There's some parts uh, of the mountain that stick out more. I kind of want to give it a more illusion of um, a 3D illusion pretty much. And uh, a nice contrast of light and dark is pretty much what's going to establish that. Besides that, um, there's, there's like uh, a lot of uh, parts of the mountain that was giving me a difficult time while painting. Kind of like the city where um, when I was like painting the actual parts of the, the city, there was like areas where I was getting lost because there's a lot of like different striations. Uh, I am trying to be as accurate as possible, but so much limitations sometimes one can do. There's many factors, time, size of canvas, size of paintbrushes, um, and actually skill set. I'm not gonna say I'm the most skilled person, so I have a difficult time sometimes. And also the paint, being wet and dry influences whether you're able to do certain things at certain times. Sometimes you have to wait for it to dry before you move on. As I'm painting the side of the mountain, it, one of the things I'm doing is um, I'm laying out like color and I'm going back into it. The best way to explain it is there's lots of variations in color, little crevices and so on, and I'm trying to capture as much of it as possible. I am improvising of course. It's, uh, it's not like a portrait where of a person where you got like uh, the ear and the face um, and you have to make sure it's in that area or it's not going to look like the person. When it comes to a mountain, there's a level of freedom I suppose. That's the best way I can say it. But at the same time, I am trying to capture the essence of the mountain and make it feel pretty much like a mountain. Something I want to point out while painting is the texture again. There's actually like um, some areas of the mountain that are kind of on the smooth side. Like this area here is actually on the smooth side. So the way I'm going to finish the area is blending it pretty much with like a, a dry brush. But in, in the end, um, you have to pay attention to the texture to make it more believable. There's areas where it's going to be like rough. So I'm going to be like even like little um, pieces of a cliff visible where there's like some kind of pattern or roughness. I don't know. Mother Nature did this for us. but. This area, in the end, is going to look very smooth. But in the end, I'm going to make sure I distinguish what's smooth and what's not smooth. What's rough and what's not rough. I get the point. One of the things I'm going to try to do different from the reference photo is maybe have it a little more on the lighter side because I kind of want, in the end, a separation between these mountains and the rest of the background. I'm probably gonna like also try to boost the contrast also. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go as dark as it is in the photo for the whole mountain area. I might try to keep it on a lighter tone because I feel if I make it too dark everything will kind of blend in in a bad way. 
Someone once said I try to capture everything I see. I'm trying to capture everything. And um, that might be true. Because uh, I look at sometimes just like little details and and I try to get them. Like for example, there's like a little highlight like somewhere like under here or um, or right here, for example. It might not be exactly what's on the mountainside, but I try to capture as much as I see. In some ways, I'm creating the detail. In other ways, I'm capturing it. So in the end, I might look at something. If I'm not looking at the photo, I'm going to say, was that really there? Or was it something I invented? Who knows? As I'm building the mountain texture, it might look like in some scenarios that I'm just like applying random brush strokes. But I want to take the time to mention that in most cases, I'm actually, in the end, each mark has its own identity so it's not just a random mark it's a well thought of mark or, or well thought of patch of texture that I just like came out with um, so it's a lot of thinking that goes into just a mere brush stroke though in the end it's gonna look like it's some random texture or random brush marks but in my personal belief everything had its purpose anyway if you reached to the very end of this video thank you for watching I have a lot more work to do as you can see but um, I believe it's coming together nicely also, I have to say, it was probably the most frustrating video I have done. I actually have to break it into sections. Um, probably because the mountainside here was a big portion of the painting. And um, one video does not do it justice. I will have more in the next video. So stay tuned. So remember, again, my name is Charlin Bos. I go by Bob. I am not your typical painter. Thanks again for watching.